shopping done, we do have a consumer report alert for you. The only thing scammers want this holiday is for you to let your guard down. We have the red flags to look out for so you don't lose any of your Christmas cheer or cash. It's worse than a lump of coal. Kim Harris sent her loved ones two $50 cards, but at checkout they were told there's a zero balance. They were like, we're sorry, there's nothing here. So I was embarrassed for her because I was like, oh no, this is terrible. It's called a drain scam. Last year, 41,632 cases of gift card draining were reported. This resulted in a loss of more than $217 million. So here's how it works. Crooks go to a store, copy the card number and the activation code, and then reseal the package. When you load money onto the card, it goes to Scrooge. Yes, it was only $100 but it could have been $500. Before you buy, inspect the card. You know, run your finger over the card. Does it look like a sticker has been put over the barcode? Does it look like the package was like opened and then maybe glued back together? Buy gift cards from behind the counter or buy a virtual gift card. And if you receive a gift card, use it ASAP. And attention online shoppers. As you scroll through social media, some deals might seem too good to be true. Passive scrolling is the biggest way that people lose money on social media. Take the name of the website and into any search engine or into BBB.org and type in the word fraud, scam or review and see what people are saying about it off of the social media site. Watch out for this delivery tech scam. It looks like the post office is saying there's a problem with your upcoming delivery. Do not click on that link. Swindlers are hoping you'll plug in your credit card information. You can get tracking notifications, but you must sign up first. Finally, it's the season to give, but make sure you're donating to a real charity. You can check Charity Navigator or Give.org to confirm the charity you choose is making the best use of your money. All right, and if you decide to donate to a charity or cause or a crowdfunding page like on Facebook or GoFundMe, make sure you know the person in charge of the donations and be aware that many websites also take a small percentage of your donation. And as you are looking for ways to save this holiday season, 11, Alive, 11 Alive's Ron Jones is helping you protect your safety and your dollar with Consumer Reports. It's streaming right now on 11 Alive Plus. You can download the app to your streaming devices again right now for free.